morning everybody. We're out here on uh, Gull Lake. We're going to be uh, targeting burbot and walleye. Uh, the bite's been pretty hot here the last little bit, uh, pre-spawn, so we'll try some different uh, stuff and see what works best and we'll get back to you on what to use and uh, share the tips that we come up with today and some tips from the past, so stay tuned and let's get fishing. <laughs> So for the dead stick I'm setting up, it's a 40 inch Masuda medium heavy rod with a pissy fun flame reel 2000 and all we're going to do is put a weight on like that, small treble and we're going to put minnows on either side of that treble to make it look like a little school so that's going to be right in the middle of the minnow right there, treble's hidden. Actually these are pretty nice minnows so I'm only going to put one on. And it's just sitting like it's feeding so I'll keep it really close to the bottom. Probably only like this far off. We'll go sit we up that We got about a jacket. foot between the weight and the hook. So once we hit bottom, I know to bring it up a foot. Give or take. And we're just going to place it like two inches off the bottom. I'm not going to set the draw jacker. We're just going to listen for the bells. So that's the weight right there. Bring it up that high. That's going to be off the bottom, so any cruising fish that comes by is just going to grab it. Bell's going to go, and we'll run out and get them. So we just landed one, we've had a couple come by, um, I missed one on this little lipless crank, it's by Northlands, and uh, he came in, nibbled at it, but I was messing with the camera trying to get it for you guys on uh, on camera so you could see it on the actor view. But since he has a lipless crank, I'm going to switch up to a tube from uh, hooked up fishing gear, just a white tube, low, we'll pound bottom and see how this does as well. So when hooking up my tube, I like to put my minnow, just put your hook right through the gill here. And that gill's harder, so it's going to keep that on without using a bait button or something. Because if you don't got one, even if you need a bait button, just clip a little chunk of the skirting off, then put it over the hook, and that will hold it too. So let's get this down here and see if we can get on some burbs. Well, it slowed up quite a bit. So um, we're going to drill some more holes in tighter, out deeper. We just had a burb go through right when I was going to get out, but uh, yeah, he wasn't interested. He just cruised through. So I'm going to drill some out deeper. Maybe they're just sitting out there deeper, but uh, we'll put some in shallow too. Maybe we can find some perch. We saw one perch come down the drop off. We're right on the drop off. so. Top rod's probably in 14 feet of water, the, black, the deep rod's 18, and we're right in the middle. They're coming through, but just not consistently. We've seen a walleye, pike, but uh, let's bust some more holes and see if we can get a little more action. Well, 
Well, we drilled some more holes, shallower and deeper. Didn't really mark anything, but while I was doing that, Dad had five burbs come through right on the drop off here, so they're still in the area. We're just seeing them up off the bottom, just cruising. So they're not really interested. Anything we're kind of throwing at them, they're just staying away. So hopefully it picks up here soon. We'll have a sandwich and uh, otherwise we're going to have to get out of here. Got stuff to do in the afternoon. Just not interested, are they? They swim right through. They don't even look at it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. Mad all the way. Ooh, the dead stick's got maybe a half decent fish here. You barely hear the bell go, and Dad just heard it. We saw a nice perch just a second ago on camera. Ooh. I'm gonna take some drag. That's a nice burb. Nice burb. We're gonna back in. Beauty, nice chunker. And away it goes. We'll rebait and see what we can get. That's a wrap. The bite was just not there. We saw them. We threw everything we had at them, but that full moon last night and it was pretty bright. They fed all night, I'm assuming. So we got a couple when we first got there, then it just died right off and they weren't interested in anything we had. So hopefully you picked up something on a couple of that, a couple of them tips, and uh, hopefully you get out and catch some. We'll see you later on the ice.